Yo. What's going on? It's your boy T Jackson, another one of the other Jackson, the T Jackson. You get what I'm saying? But because you got me, and you, and you. What's good, everybody? It's your boy TK, the wonder, the man, the Saxon. You feel me? So, we just about to get right into it. Um, as you guys can see by the title below, um, my saxophone was stolen. So, I'm about to get into the story about how that happened. Now, I didn't realize until like the day after. You feel me? So, one day I was at work. What was that, Thursday? Yeah. I was at work on Thursday and you know I was thirsty I had a gallon of water in my car so I'm like right, let me go get a gallon of water walk outside open the door get the gallon of water and I'm like bet say less and then I was listening to Dexter Gordon a little bit beforehand so I was like I was really inspired I was like you know what I'm about to take my saxophone in the store put it inside my office so then right when we close like, you know, when we're done with everything, I, all I gotta do is take it outside and then pack it, you know, head to my car. So, I go to the trunk of the car, open the trunk of the car, and I look, and I'm like, hold on, wait one second. I had to, I had to check like three more times. I was like, wait, last time I checked. It was inside the thingam. You feel me? Cause I remember on Tuesday, I was playing my saxophone and I put it inside my trunk on top of my stand for my camera. So I'm like, okay. I know for a fact I put it inside there cause I was like, dang, what if it breaks the camera stand? I was like, eh, bump it, I'm tired. So I'm like, okay, I know for a fact I have it on Tuesday. And then I was thinking, wait, can I look for that church on Sunday? I'm like, nah, cause I had it on Tuesday. Let me call my sister real quick. Let me see if it's inside my room. So I call her, hit it up. She pick up the phone. Hello, what's good? I'm like, hey, Khalil, do me a favor. You at the house? She's like, yeah. I'm like, check inside my room real quick. See if you see my saxophone. Not the old one that, the, not the old one that's in the case that's shaped like a saxophone, but the one that you know, the big blocky one. Cause in my head, I'm like, I don't remember stepping over. Whenever I have it in my room, I have to step over it like every two seconds. So I'm like, okay, bet. Let me see what's up with that. She goes in there, checks, doesn't see it. I'm like, okay, hold on now, because I only go to work, home, and the studio, in church. Only four places, right? And so I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, hold on. Let me FaceTime Shorty real quick. So I FaceTime my sister. I'm like, check for me one more time so I can see. You feel me? There's not in there. And it turns out it's not in there. She even checked on the beds and everything. No one good and worthy can't put on the bed. So I'm like, all right, something's up. <laughs> so what I did was I went outside to the car one more time. I was like, I'm, I'm probably tripping. Check the back seats, front seats, even though I never put them there. Back seat, front seat, trunk. And then I was just like, all right, this ain't it. So finally came to the conclusion that, you know, someone had got me from my stuff, you dig? I'm like, whoa, whoa. And when I go inside the car, in the morning, I didn't see anything tampered with or anything, you feel me? I had a switch in the, I had a switch in the back seat, you feel me? I had like two watches in the, in the glove compartment. And I'm like, y'all only went in there for my saxophone, bro? It's like that, like y'all trying to cut deep. It's like that, nah. Uh, but I would have felt at least a little bit better if you would have took everything. Like, cause you, you just came in there, you knew what you was getting when you went in there. You dig? I'm like, whoa. And like, I think like a month before that, or like a couple weeks before that, one of our vehicles was stolen from our house. So I'm like, oh, so we being watched, watched. So they looking through the window, looking at us. You feel me? And with that, I was already ready to fight. You dig? But 
the fact that they stole one of the things that makes me happiest in life, I was like, whoa. Hold it up. You're tripping. So, after a while, I'm at work, all stressed and stuff, trying to get through the day. Call my mom, I'm like, yeah, somebody done got me, mom. And she like, nah. I'm like, yeah, they done got me. Put Pop on the phone. He like, oh, I'll go check out the church for you or whatever. I'm like, oh, okay, bet. Check out the church. And I'm like, wait a minute. You don't got to do that. I know I had it on Tuesday. You know? So, fast forward. I get home. I remind you, I'm already talking junk. I already, I already made a couple of posts talking junk about how somebody stole my saxophone. I'm angry. You feel me? But it was like one of those calm angry. It was like one of them calm angles where you just like you just chilling. And you act like you feel me, but on the inside you like boiling, you feel me? But you know, I get home, let brother say what's up. TK, what's up? Shut up, get out of my waist. Move. Go straight to my room. And you know, take the cash, give it to give it to my people. And then they like, You had any luck? I'm like, nah. Whoever did it, they planned it though for real, because they only went in there for two items. Two instruments that I have in there. You feel me? I was like, well, I got another one. I just got to fix that one up and, you know, no more vacation for me this month because I got to put money towards that one because I got gigs, you know. I was feeling I was feeling bad, feeling sad, feeling down, you know. I went inside my room, got the saxophone, started looking at it, see what I got to fix on it. And then out of nowhere, I hear these words. She ain't married for a moment. Two, three weeks from now. Turn around. Man's got both of my saxophones, bro. Who is man's man, you ask? My pops. This man come in the room tell my son. Oh, you got to secure your valuables. You need to secure your valuables. And I'm like... At that time, it's just like... I was ready to beat somebody up. Like, whoever, I ain't know nobody, they walking by the house, I'm, they getting confronted right then and there. Who are you? Nah, I don't never see anyone walk on the street, family, nah. But, it, I mean, yeah, it was my fault because I didn't lock the door. You feel me? But I usually do, but that was just the one time I didn't lock the door. The time that someone went in there and took my stuff. So, you know, I guess it's just like a lesson. For me to, um, you know, secure my valuables. So, same thing with you guys. Um, secure your valuables. I mean, hey, best I can do, best you can do. You feel me? Make sure you guys have your valuables secured. And, you know, you know what's going on. Because, I mean, he doesn't want the same thing to happen to me. The same thing that happened to him. You know? So, at the end of the day, okay, cool. I respect the lesson. I was ready to fight somebody. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's the story time about what happened with my saxophone. I'm gonna probably make a post letting everyone know that I actually got it back because a lot of people think that it's still stolen and I'm sad. So yeah, I'll get back to that. But yeah, that being said, it's been your boy. Thank y'all for, um, if y'all got this far, you know, thank you for listening to what I had to say. You feel me? So yeah, um, probably might go practice or whatever. You know, I might brush my hair a little bit more. Cause you can see him through the. You can see him through the. A dude rag. But yeah, so. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, there's nothing else to say. Thank y'all for watching. You know, and then I got a couple more videos. I got Shop Gems number two and number three coming out. Um, they're going to be in a weird format, just to let you guys know. But you know, they're pretty long videos. I think they're pretty interesting. The stuff that we talked about. And you know the the process of us jamming absolutely. So yeah, we got a bunch of videos coming y'all way, and thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And yeah, it's been your boy T Sax. And we out.